Hello there, and today I'm going to show you how to change the logo on your LG TV. That's what I'm talking about right there. So, the LG logo can be changed on what is called the hotel mode, and normally, hotel mode entails changing a bunch of things for example i show you how to, i showed you how to change the volume to set the maximum volume on your tv and i also showed you how to lock the usb port so that no no one can insert a usb drive on your tv so this is normally for hotel tvs you don't want anybody maybe the hotel on the on the hospital putting the flash drives or increasing the volume up to levels that disturb the other patients or customers. So if you check on the top, I think right corner of your TV, I showed you how to fix the maximum volume on your TV. Like right now, this is the maximum it can go. But enough of that, I'm going to show you how to change that logo. Uh, so the first thing you need is an image. You can put any image you want, it can be a selfie, anything you want. So today I have some pictures here on my phone. Just cut pictures. You can put any you can put any image you want. You can build the logo of your company, your own selfie, your priced possession, maybe a car, maybe a woman. I don't know. So if you are going to take a selfie. Make sure you don't take it in portrait mode. Choose a picture that is in landscape mode. That's the picture I'm going to use. So let's head over to the computer and I'm going to show you the rest of the steps. So the picture I choose is this one here. And this is what I'm going to set as my LG TV logo. But first we need to set the resolution on this image. For that we're going to, we can use any program you want, but right here I will use paint. Now the resolution you can set on the LG TV is 720 by 576 pixels. So just come to the size, select pixels and put in 720 this one is has some um, things 540 but it's okay it will work and that's the picture I want so I can just save it so when I open it yeah it's a much smaller picture this will work perfectly the contrast in the image is quite good. So you need a flash disk for this purpose. Or the pen drive or whatever you want to call it. Just open it. So we're going to create a folder. New folder. Now using caps lock, we are going to rename this folder to LG underscore DTV. I told you this method only works with digital TVs. It cannot work with any analog TV. Digital TVs manufactured from 2014 until now. So I'm going to paste my photo inside here. That, that's it. Just leave the extension as JPG. I've not tried any other extensions but png also works so just remove your flash disk and let's go back to the tv when this comes just select no but maybe we can check the image we loaded it's inside here but that's not what we want. So the logo will appear something similar to this when you switch on the TV. So in order to do that, we are going to use the remote and enter into hotel mode. 
hotel mode if you remember we we use the settings button we press and hold it for like five seconds until that section this section only here will remain press and hold the settings button then press one one zero five and okay so from here we're going to go to usb cloning so the reason why i chose uh, a wider image is because i don't want my image to be a, a little piece here i just want it to be a larger piece appearing like this so go to usb cloning and go to logo image download that's the image the tv has pulled from the lgd tv folder so i press ok and it's updating so the tv will automatically restart to set the logo image inside the motherboard and there you have it so let me see if the no signal cube will work too no the no cube signal the cube signal didn't change but if i switch off my tv and switch it on again that's what i'll see it's a fun thing to do you can impress your friends with it and be cool let me try it again there you have it so after modifying the software of the tv it's a requirement that you reset the TV. So just go to settings, option, and factory reset your TV. After resetting, the TV will come on and it's okay. But now you will have to rescan all your channels and everything and all your settings.